What is going on everyone? Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Spartan G Gaming. I'm super happy you can join me for this next video guys because I've been looking forward so much to sharing with you the gold and diamond camo for the US shovel. This is more of a time consuming weapon to get to gold first guys but there is only one melee weapon so this means we are going to show you the diamond camo. So we've got all that to come in the video guys and I'm going to share my tips with you how I got this to gold and eventually diamond. Now the first 200 kills you will need to get from the shovel are very time consuming. That's for the first nine camos to unlock. That is the only difficult thing about it. There's nothing hard in getting a shovel kill. I'm going to give you my setup that I used for the first 200 shovel kills very shortly. And you can use the same if you want guys. Or if you prefer something different that's entirely up to you. But the first 200 shovel kills came very fast and very easy for me. I did use an SMG with this because I'm working my SMGs to gold as you know at the moment guys. So we just had the shovel as a kind of a secondary weapon, okay? But the division that I would recommend that you use, which will help you with the actual shovel kills as well, is the SMG Division Airborne. You will sprint for longer distances, you can climb over obstacles faster, and also increase your sprint speed as well. As a basic perk training, I would recommend that you use the Energetic, because the Energetic, along with the division that you've selected, will make you sprint again sooner and add no damage from falling. So that's going to help us with shovel kills as well, because we want to try and get these shovel kills out of the way quick. But we're going to change our division and all that later on when we get into the more difficult challenges. But right to start with, guys, I'm going to show you how I got my first 200 kills. I'm not going to show you all of them, obviously, because there's too many, but I'm going to show you some of my best ones. Now, using the shovel really, really felt rewarding, because you can smash that shovel over the enemy head. It is a fun part of the game when you're using the shovel. It really is. But because I'm using SMGs at the minute, like I said, I'm using the shovel as a secondary weapon. It was only now and again when I felt like, you know, I had maybe a few enemies coming into my area where I was, where I could easy pick off a few enemy and get, you know, on my way to getting those 200 kills in total. Because it is very time consuming, as I said. Now, I did start these shovel kills playing hardcore. Because I love hardcore, I'm working the SMGs to gold as I said at the moment, so that's the reason I chose hardcore. You can choose standard core mode if you prefer, but I will tell you the difference later on the video how um, when you come into the more difficult challenges with the shovels, how going into standard core mode is going to help you a little bit more better. But for the first 200, like I said, I kept with hardcore and I kept with domination. As you know guys, I love domination, it helps with all the challenges and it really did help me with the shovel kills as well. Now, when you are getting the shovel kills, again, you don't want to be going out in the open too much. Only when you know there's an enemy you can chase after. But that's the fun part of it, guys, running up behind the enemy. And again, in hardcore, they can't see you because you unless they earn a, um, a UAV. So you're going to be a little bit invisible on the map. But be careful if the enemy do get a UAV because you'll be spotted and they'll shoot you down straight away. But try and work you know, your way from one end of the map to the other, I always say that, and try and come up behind the enemy as well, you can see how this works, you know, in getting the 200 shovel cords, you can do this very easily, but keep swapping and changing from your weapon that you're using at the moment to your shovel for the first 200 kills, and they will get out of the way, you know, it does take time, but they will, it is easy, should I say, in getting the shovel, because nothing hard, I love when you splatter it, because all the blood goes all over the shovel as well, it's pretty cool, and there's a mean sound as well, when you do splatter that over their heads, it is totally wicked using. And like I said, I've actually really enjoyed using the shovel. I think I'm going to actually use this as my primary weapon, I think, soon, when, I, when I've completed all the other weapons at Diamond as well. I'm actually going to use this as one of my main um, weapons to use in gameplay. And I can get big kills with this. There's really nothing hard in getting the shovel kills. It's playing a little bit of tactically and um, just using your, your maps when you get them. You know, your UAVs when you can. That helps with knowing where the enemy are. But... You can see the game I'm playing here. You can see my tactics I'm doing. I'm hiding up behind the odd brick wall here and there. You know, just so an enemy can run out um, in by the side of me or in front of me. That does help. Don't go too much into the open, as I said before, when using the shovel. Because against an SMG where the enemy has, or maybe a, an assault rifle, you don't stand a chance. So do a little bit of camping, guys. Stop, start, stop, start kind of motion with the gameplay. Now, that's the reward I just showed you there at the end. So we're moving on now after the 200 kills to the next camo, which is the M1916. Now this is going to require us to get 10 backstabber medals. Now this is a fairly easy challenge. This just basically means that you need to smash the shovel over the back of an enemy. To do this, guys, what helps you to get up behind the enemy in the first place is to work the map. You know, work away from one end of the map to the other. Maps like this one will help you. That you can, you know what map I'm on here, guys. Um, I think it's the Saint Marie Dupont map, something like that is called. 
can never get used to these names, these maps. I know what they are because I've played them so many times, but I just can't remember the pronunciation of them properly. But that is how easy you can get backstabber medals. In this particular video, I'm showing you free backstabber medals, all in the space of about 30 seconds. So that's how easy backstabber medals are. They are not hard at all. But you just got to make sure you're using maps like this where you know enemy are probably going to mostly be camping. Anticipate where they're going to be, you know, in those rooms. They're normally going to be up the windows. There's, there we go. He's come back again, look. He's just up the window. And it makes for easy backstab medals. But you only need 10 of them, guys. It really is easy. I'm going to show you just one more last one here. This was the final one I got before I unlocked the 10th um, backstab medal that I needed. But nothing really that hard at all with getting those um, back some levels. That's a reward as well you get at the end. So plenty of XP coming when we do unlock those camos. Now we're moving on to the next one. Now the snow camo. I'm going to leave this till later on. We're going to come back to this, guys. This is getting near death kills, okay? So we only need five of them. But I'm going to show you how I can make this easy for you along with the bloodthirsties later on. So we're going to come back to that, guys, okay? We're moving on to the leopard one now. Now the leopard is going to require us to get... Um, payback medals now this is quite easy guys it's nothing hard about it something to do with the payback medal that i can explain to you is that you know there's no time limit on getting a payback medal basically what it is is when an enemy has shot you you have to go after that same person who shot you dead and you're going to have to get payback on them by killing them but remember to do it with your shovel now i've actually managed to find that i can actually get payback medals you know two or three straight after each other just like I'm showing you here. So there isn't really a time limit on when you've got to get that payment. As, as long as far as I've seen through my gameplay, as long as you have got shot by an enemy, no matter how many times you get shot, every time you then go and get that enemy back, when you kill them with your shovel, you're getting a payback medal. So there's no time limit on when you get it, as far as I know. But I keep racking the payback medals up. You'll see them, guys. You'll actually see them keep racking up. I'm showing you a few here. I've waited quite a while since the last time I died. In this video, I'm now showing you here. And it's only in a moment when I go around, just he's camping at this point A here, just around the corner. I kind of got an idea where he is because I heard him on the headset that I'm using. I heard him come around. I'm, I'm certain that's him. Keep an eye on the feed though, guys, so you can keep an eye on the enemy that did shoot you. So you keep an eye on the enemy so you know exactly what one to uh, to get back. But you'll find that just running and gunning, and, you know, I say running and gunning, so you're so used to the weapons. But you know what I mean, guys. When you're running around with the shovel, keep going to the enemy. And you, you, you'll be surprised with yourself how many payback medals you actually get. Like I said, I've had three on the trot payback medals. So it must have been three deaths I had previously, but that kept a register of the, the enemy that killed me. And luckily enough, it just registers the payback. So getting those payback medals is reasonably easy, guys. There's nothing really that hard about it. As long as you're just killing as many enemies as you can, those payback medals will keep appearing. It really does. So nothing that hard there. So hopefully I've helped you with that one. Now the next... Um, actually, we'll just show you the reward actually for the payback medals there. So again, more XP coming. Now we're moving on to the bronze camo. Now, the bronze camo, this is a little bit more difficult for those of you who do struggle with normal kills anyway, but I'm going to show you the idea of what you need to do here. But you need to get backfire medals. There's only five you need. Now, a backfire medal, in case you're not certain, is what you're going to have to do is kill the enemy, first of all, with your shovel. You're then going to have to pick the enemy's weapon up that you just killed with your shovel and then go on to kill that enemy you killed with your shovel with their gun, if that makes sense, guys. So I'm going to show you one here. Right at the start of the game, we're on the Gustav Cannon map here. Straight away, we're going to kill this enemy. I'm not going to pick his gun up. We're pressing X down on the Xbox One, or it's square on PS4, depending on what console you've got. I've picked his gun up. I'm now going to run down towards the spawn. So this is what I can recommend to you guys. When you've killed the enemy, pick the weapon up, run into the spawn where you anticipate them running from a cover. And that's how you get a backfire medal. You need five of these guys. So again, I'll show you again. So we're going to kill the enemy first of all with the shovel. We're going to pick his weapon up. We're going to head towards the spawn and end where, they, where we're anticipating they're coming from. We might have to kill a few other enemy first before we get to the correct one. But like I said, keep killing as many as you can. There you go, guys. There he was over there. We got the backfire medal. So that, that's all you've got to do. Again, last one here we're going to show you. Actually, we're going to show you a couple more because this is quite a difficult challenge if you're not sure all about it. But we killed an enemy with our shovel. We're picking up his weapon. We're noticing the end. And this is why, again, I recommend to you to play Domination because you know roughly where the enemy are going to be spawning from. Go back there. Get into that spawn area where you think that enemy who shot you is coming from and get that pay medal. You never know which one it is. It is, it is quite difficult to know, but just keep shooting as many enemies as we can in that spawn area where, because remember he's died, so he's going to spawn again. And you'd be surprised you'll get that payback medal, not the payback medal, sorry, the backfire medal. I keep getting them too confused because it is kind of like getting payback, isn't it, as well? It's the same thing, but just a backfire medal because you're killing them with their own weapon. This is the last video I'll show you on this, guys, so hopefully you'd have got it by now. 
but kill an enemy with a shovel, pick up their weapon, and then go on to kill that enemy that killed you with their weapon. That's your backfire medal, guys. That's the rewards you get at the end there. Plenty of XP to be earned through completing that challenge. So hopefully I've helped you with the backfire uh, medals with those kills with the shovel that we need. Right, so you can see all the XP we're building up as well through Gumbity, so I like to show you that in case you're not sure of how many XP you're getting. But like I said, if you're interested in all the prestige and that, it really does help with that. I'm all into that as well, the prestige and of the levels. So now back on to the snow camo. This is where now we're going to change our division. We're going to change our perks so we can help with the near-death kills we need, but also with the bloodthirsties. I'm going to explain to you as much as I can to make it clear for you guys how these two challenges, the snow camo and the bloodthirsty medal for the copper camo, can all be done at the same time if you want to do this. It's up to you if you want to do it this way, guys. You don't have to, but I found this was the easiest way to do it. So I'd completed all them other challenges first, then I changed the game mode I play. So now instead of hardcore, I'm going to recommend to you to play um, standard core mode. That way then we stand a little bit more better chance of um, keeping alive while getting the five kills that we need. I did try the Bloodthirsties first of all, guys. I have to admit, on hardcore mode, I was getting up plenty of times to four kills, and then I ended up dying. Not through sometimes the enemy killing me on the last one, because it is an instant kill, remember, on you if the enemy do shoot you, but mostly from my teammates as well. And it was very unfortunate I was getting around. You can see it all here, guys. I'm getting up to the fourth kill. But then as I run up the stairs, my teammate shoots me. All right, so you've got to be careful with that. This is why now I'm going to say to you, change your division, change your perks, and change your game mode into standard core mode for the Bloodthirsty, but also the near-death kills. So we're going to select the, uh, the Mountain Division. Now, in the Mounted Division, you do get um, the chance to be invisible to enemy recon aircraft, which is really going to help us with this challenge. You're also hidden to player control streets. Remember, you want to try and survive as much as we possibly can. I didn't get up to the level 4, but that would have given me silent movement, which would have helped any more, you know, a little bit more. But I didn't actually need it. But that's a division I would recommend. Now we're moving on to the basic training perk, which is Serrated. Now that's Serrated, it's going to take us a melee weapon as primary. So we've got the shovel, so we're going to take that as a primary weapon, and we'll melee faster. It also gives us two throwing knives and two tacticals. Now I'm going to get a little bit into this, guys. So you're going to first of all get two throwing knives. You need to first of all unlock your throwing knives, and they're in the modifier equipment of your tacticals and lethals. So you'll need to spend your tokens and unlock that, guys, before you can op open up and unlock the serrated perk. But the throwing knives, it's up to you if you use them through gameplay. But remember, when you're going for the blood thirsties, you can't get kills with them. But they are more fun. You can use them if you want later on after you've done your blood thirsties. This is how easy you can do the throwing knives, guys. I'm just using my right bumper button just to throw them. You've got two of them. You can actually get two kills on the trial. They're very good to use. Now the tacticals. It's up to you if you want to use these. The reason I'm going to say to you is to keep away from tacticals, because I've used this experiment with it, is because sometimes when you go in for the blood first, is if an enemy is nearly on death, you can actually kill them with your, um, your tactical device, which isn't very good. So like you've got a flashbang or something like that, it can actually still kill the enemy if they're near on death. So you've got to be careful. So I'd recommend not to use the tacticals, even though we're using the serrated um, perk for actually the melee weapon faster. And we're using this as a primary weapon now, so that's really going to help us do these challenges. But you will also not only see me do the bloodthirsties here, but you'll also see me do the snow cam, which is for the near death kills. But we're now playing in standard core mode. This is where standard core mode helps us get the bloodthirsties and the near death kills, because we're going to stay alive a little bit longer. Remember, in hardcore, instant death near enough is very hard to get the near death kills, but also hard to get the blood first, as I've already explained in the, in the video I made right from the start of this blood thirsty um, video. When you come in to do the blood first, he's on standard core mode, I would just keep saying to you, watch my gameplay, watch the way I play. It's hard to explain, but all I'm trying to do basically is, on certain maps, there are places you can kind of hide behind, like the brick walls, like barrels, stuff like that. You've got to try and make sure you don't run out into the open too much. But once you do kill an enemy with your shovel from one end, remember there's a kill cam as well. If you are playing the standard core mode, which I recommend that you do for this, the enemy are going to see roughly where you're camping, where you're sitting, where you're hiding behind. So you've got to keep moving. Try and avoid staying in one place all the time because the enemy are going to know where you are because of that kill cam. They're going to come back and try and kill you. So as you can see here, I'm running from one little brick wall to the other. That's a perfect map to do that on. Again, I'm going to show you another one here. 
And the fun thing about the blood verses is because when you're starting to get to the third and fourth kills, you know, you want away from getting that blood first because they are hard, guys. I will hold my hand up and say they are quite difficult to get. It wasn't like I got these out of the way like I do with any other weapon, like a machine gun or something like that, out of the way in like five, six hours. This actually did take maybe in total probably about 12 hours to do in total, okay, of gameplay. But like I said, the first 200 kills was up and down, you know, just using it when I could. When you get onto the main challenges, the last five camo challenges for the shovel to get to get it to gold and then diamond, you know, it did take a little bit of time. So I'd probably say it took me about six hours of gameplay to get, you know, the last five challenges out of the way, including the blood thirsty. So you've got to work at it. Not every game you go into, you know, you're going to get blood thirsties. So it's not as easy as that, guys. But you have to really work at it. You have to think about what you're doing. What also helps and why I recommend doing the blood thirsties and the near death um, kills on standard core modes because also you get a map. That map is going to help you to identify and anticipate roughly where the enemy are as well. So there's lots of benefits into why I'm recommending to use standard core mode for the near death kills and also the blood thirsties because we need to try and keep alive as much as we possibly can. When it comes to the near death, if you've already seen in my videos guys here, the near death kills I'm getting, because of standard core mode, it's letting us survive a little bit longer, but you've got to be careful. You've got to make sure that you're getting that near death kill where you are nearly near death. Because it will regenerate, again, your health. So you've got to be, get it in within by the time you know your health regenerates. But you've seen plenty of near-death kills there. Remember, we only need five. This is why these two challenges were done at the same time. Because I found it so easy. So hopefully all my tips and tricks, guys, that I've given you to use the shovel are going to help you. Try and use them if you can. If you find a better way, then obviously use your system. Use your way of, of using the shovel. But I really did think that I found an easy way to use the shovel to get it to Golden Diamond. So hopefully everything I've shown you and guided you in is going to help you. This is a lovely map to get blood firsties on as well, the Gibraltar map. This little brick wall here, you can actually sit behind here and the enemy will just flood from there. Remember, it's going to take a while again before the enemy are going to come running out the brick and know where you are. Because remember, we've got a kill camera on standard core mode, so they're going to know where we are. But every now and again, there's a different enemy come through who we haven't killed with the shovel. And um, they won't know you're there. So basically, it just makes for easy blood thirsties. It really does. But it's so exciting getting the blood thirsties with a shovel, guys. I can't express to you enough how, how exciting it was. Hopefully, you will find this exciting as well when you come to it. Because you know it's not easy when doing this. You know it's hard. And when you're getting like to the fourth and fifth kills, Rick's playing, getting that last fifth kill is like, wow. So, so many times, I will hold my hands and say that I got four kills and then I died. It is so annoying, it really is. But it makes it exciting at the same time. I loved using this shovel. This is a great map as well. I've got a few blood thirsties on here. This is the Ardennes Forest. Again, work your way around the map. You don't have to keep hiding behind brick walls and stuff and camping out. You can actually keep on the move, run into enemy spawns. That's the way I was doing it by the time I was coming to the end of, you know, my blood thirsties and um, coming to the fifth one that I needed. And keep an eye on your map. Look at that, guys. The map explains when the enemy shoots where they are. It really does help. I can't express that enough, which is why I've chosen the standard core mode to do the blood thirsties on. But if you use standard core mode anyway, then it, you know you don't have to change from hardcore. It's entirely up to you how you do it, but that's just the way that I did it very, very easily. And I would recommend that you do the same because I really didn't struggle with it at all. Like I said, there were some moments where I was getting frustrated with the game because it is hard, but I didn't struggle with it. You know, the 200 kills is more time consuming and also the last challenge is just time consuming. There's nothing hard about them though. If you use your tactics, use the stuff and setup that I recommended to you as well. And I'm sure that you'll, well, you will find it as reasonably easy as I did. Because there's nothing hard about it guys, as I said. But look at that, that's the last one I got. You're getting the rewards in. And I was screaming at the top of my voice, guys, when I, when I got that last one. Because I just wanted it out of the way. I wanted it gold, I wanted it diamond. So let's just show you now the rewards at the end. So these are the rewards where you get, you know, you're going to get rewards for the near deaths. You're going to get rewards for the five blood firsties, but also for completing the shovel challenges. Plenty of XP there. That is the US shovel at gold. I've been looking forward to showing you that, guys. So hopefully my tips and tricks will help you. You can now go out there and hopefully get this at gold yourself. But also, not to forget, guys, that this is the only melee weapon. So now the last camo to show you is now the diamond camo for the shovel. That is totally amazing, guys. I do love the diamond camo, even though there's not too much shine or bling coming from it. I would have preferred it to be a little bit more blingy. But I'm actually going to show you in a moment what it's like in gameplay. We're going to go for a little challenge as a last little 
kind of respect into using the shovel, okay? Because I love using it. I'm not gonna, gonna try and uh, do a mission and my little challenge for myself. But um, that is smash and bash challenge, guys. Don't forget to do this when you're using the shovel. If you get 15 kills on the trot in a game, okay, you can actually get that reward. You get plenty of XP there as you saw. So don't, go, don't forget to go for that challenge. But my challenge now, right from the start of the game, is to go for a merciless with the shovel, showing people that I've got a diamond shovel, which I'm so pleased about, guys. Don't worry, though, that diamond camo will disappear in a moment because we're going to get so much blood on it. But we're going to aim for 10 kills after each other without dying in between. We're going to go for a merciless. You can count me as I go, guys. I think we're up to the second one so far. I think that's the second kill. This is a great map for this because you've got plenty of brick walls to hide behind. We've got the third kill there. Let's keep working hard. Again, I'm going to try and use these walls to my advantage. I'm going to keep coming in and out of them. Just try and pause a little bit just before running out. We're going to try and aim for that uh, merciless medal, which is very, very difficult. It's difficult getting the blood first, let alone the 10, but we're gonna try it because I wanna show off this diamond camera. But like I said, guys, by the time you come to do completing this challenge, you should have got used to how you use the shovel by now, and it should make kills a little bit more easier. Now there's, I think that's the fourth kill, I think. I'm not sure, I've lost count, guys. I've actually lost count. I think we're gonna have to try and think back. I think that's the fourth kill. We're gonna try and count from now on, though. We'll soon, soon see, because we're going to get a little marker, actually. When we're up to the bloodthirsty, when we get the fifth kill, we should have a bloodthirsty come up. So let's look for that, and then we know that's a little marker, because I've actually lost count. I'm so excited. I mean, adrenaline's pumping when I'm trying to go for these challenges. There you go. There's a bloodthirsty. So we're now up to five. There's six kills. So we're up to six. Only four more kills. Can we do it? Nearly killed a teammate there, but because we're in standard core mode, it doesn't count. I can't kill my team, which is a great thing. There's seven. There's seven kills, guys. Three more to go. Let's just hand, hold here back. Let's just watch the map. Let's just see where the enemy are coming from because they're still spawning this end. There's one now coming in. Let's see if we can go for the eighth kill. Let's try and get up behind him. I want to be careful though because I know there's an enemy coming from behind me, so we've got to be careful. So that's eight kills, guys. We've got two more to go. Let's see if we can get these last two kills if we can. Oh, no! And we just failed at the end there, guys. Eight kills on the trot, though, without dying. That's pretty good for the diamond camera to show you. Take care, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out. See you on the next video.